adab you're watching awaaz the voice and i'm amina majid today we have with us our colleague from kashmir nazir ganai who won e for m award for excellence in journalism congratulations bahut bahut shukriya so i want to know how was your experience of receiving this prestigious award uh, uh kisi ko bhi agar award ki uh, us level pe laaye ki usko award mile i think it's a it's an honor and uh, for me uh, working from kashmir and you know having this award means a lot uh, and i think uh, for this i would like to thank my entire team at awaaz the voice and also uh, you know my own colleagues who have been always pushing me and who have been who have been always mentoring me to go ahead with certain kind of stories and thanks to all of them and thanks to the family family support thanks to all my friends in the media fraternity who have been encouraging all all this while and uh, this award is a dedication to all of them now let us show the viewers the speech you gave the times have changed people have brought out some beautiful stories and kashmir is not just about deaths and destruction there are some good stories also and i think i must thank my editors my entire team who believed in me and who, who thought that i i can bring out such stories and i would especially like to thank awaaz the voice who have pushed me to a different level and you know asked me to do stories from the length and breadth of uh, the kashmir region and also kashmir observer who put me into different you know different uh, perspectives and also we we explored digital print as well as some other uh, you know beats in the in the organization i would like to thank all your team for giving me this opportunity thank you so much sir i want to know which of your stories were considered for this nomination uh see uh, this uh, nomination when this was asked uh, there were many stories that uh, i had submitted you know uh, at least uh, five stories and uh, there was a story that uh, i had done uh, almost in 2014 uh, uh, earlier and uh, that was a story about uh, missing mothers and then there was a story about uh, this uh, you know stone pelt stone pelters being you know produced in the court uh, handcuffed and also my uh, prime focus in journalism has always been to cover uh, non uh, political beats like you know art and culture health environment and you know uh, human rights so there were stories from uh, each one of these uh, you know beats and i was fortunate enough to have have a conversation with the grand jury and i got a feedback that some of the stories were really uh, nice and you know considered for the for the award and then a, a dis- discussion also happened simultaneously why uh, such stories were important and what was the you know at attitude approach towards you know exploring these kind of stories so awaaz the voice uh, when i started you know working with awaaz the voice also one thing which i really liked about uh, the organization is they have been always asking us to do people centric you know uh, stories people centric journalism uh, if you look at my list of stories for the awaaz the voice you'll find uh, jun- journalists you'll find uh administrators is officers filmmakers. Uh, filmmakers being interviewed but at the same time the core idea is to have to tell the story of uh, you know public to tell the story of people what are their issues what are their grievances what are their concerns uh what is their opinion about overall you know developmental scenario or the kind of you know uh, situation they are witnessing so that has been always the focus and i think awaaz the voice has been a brilliant platform on that uh, front that they encouraged and they never said no to any story ideas or story pitches that uh, went to them and we have always got the support from them so i want to know what kind of stories you like doing uh, see i told you uh, you know besides being a journalist i uh, i'm a passionate artist you know i play an instrument called rabab i sing sometimes uh, and uh, i'm most likely you know i'm mostly into documentary film making so i work on stories story ideas you know if i uh, you know look at a story a story in into newspaper i try to see you know how it can be, uh, it can be explored and how it can be approached with a documentary style so 
I really love to go into stories which are human based, human interest stories, and which have a larger, you know, impact. So one story that I'm really uh, right now working on is, you know, Kashmir's leper patients. You know, all, all these leper patients who have been uh, living in a, in, a, in a secluded place in Kashmir are now free from that disease. But there is no, uh, you know, acceptance of these patients in their families. It's a gone story. It's it's a story done to uh, death. But the point is, there are certain, you know, approach. There are certain some human elements that can be explored. So I'm working on that story right now. And then uh, there are a few stories that I have been assigned by uh, the editor, I was the voice, uh, which is like, you know, uh, working on the folk uh, scenario of Kashmir, folk music, and also try to explore and, uh, you know. Uh, document the folk uh, genres of Kashmir. So how does it feel to report in today's Kashmir? Uh, for a journalist it has been always uh, a challenging job you know uh, working on Kash working in Kashmir is uh, working like you know working on the edge. Now, you always have uh, um, you know these problems you always have challenge that you have to face uh, but uh, for a larger uh, you know perspective for a larger you know, uh, acceptance. Journalists have been trying to tell their stories, but at the same time, uh, there is always uh, one way or the other way. You are being either watched, you are being either, you know, read by people who matter in the administration or in the police circles. But that doesn't, you know, deter us from telling our stories. And uh, some of the stories that we did, they were really taken uh, cognizance of and issues were resolved. So that's one thing that we really love about our work. So talking about <clears throat> Kashmir especially, what positive changes have you observed in people's mindset? Especially about Kashmir. I think it's it's very important to, you know, uh, come out of that uh, negative zone, you know. When you are uh, focusing and, you know, telling stories from the negative perspective, you actually bring negativity to people. Mm. You know, at Awas the Voice, the, the core idea is to bring stories which are uh, which bring harmony, which bring you know peace, and which bring you know inclusivity. So I think there are many stories around that that are actually uh, yet to yet to be told. And uh, we have seen in Kashmir different generations having different you know perspectives of life. Uh, post 1989, people were so sad, people were so indifferent towards each other because large migration had had happened, and Kashmiri Pandits had you know fled the. Uh, place and some of them say like you know why they were forced to leave the leave, leave their homeland but at the same time muslims also you know kind of you know carried their narrative you know they left and we somehow stayed back and we were also you know killed we were also affected this discourse cont continued for years and it it still continues but in this you still have stories to narrate you still have some inclusivity, in, in, inclusive stories. You still have a Kashmiri Pandit living in a Muslim house and he getting, you know, uh, they don't have any differences. You still have uh, stories like Kashmiri Muslim somewhere out of his homeland living uh, with his uh, Kashmiri Pandit friend. So these stories continue and these stories are being uh, told everywhere. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We are happy and proud. Uh, and once again, I congratulate. And thank you so much, the entire team of Awaz the Voice, and thank you uh, uh, E4M and the organizers, the award organizers, the grand jury for selecting me, selecting me uh, for this award. And uh, these awards definitely give us, uh, you know, a reason to do our work in a best way and bring some of the positive stories, some of the some of the stories that are actually needed to be you know, uh, told to the larger public and I think we will continue to do our best from Kashmir. All the best. Sir. Thank you so much. Sir.